welcome back to another review by projects. I'm Psycho and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the Crisis 3 um, video game. So be as I did before in all of the parts, I'm just gonna let the intro roll here for now because I think this intro is probably one of the best intros that was made up to now. Um, and it kind of depicts the whole game and what happened before, what's gonna happen in Crisis 3. So, um, enjoy the intro. It's it's really awesome, in my opinion. So, um, yeah, enjoy it, and I'm gonna see you after the intro. 23 years ago, the alien Seth invaded our world. We stopped them. I stopped them. But the Cell Corporation seized the opportunity, stepping into the power vacuum, quickly growing in size and influence to the brink of world domination. Cell took us all by surprise. Even me. They call me Prophet. And I'm the only one who knows what's coming. Cell are not the real threat to our world. The most powerful alien, the Alpha Seth, still lives. He showed me a glimpse of the future. He knows what drives me, what I believe. That being a good soldier comes down to one thing, to one single question. What are you prepared to sacrifice? Remember me. When they came to me with the nanosuit, I sacrificed Lawrence Barnes, the man I was, to become prophet. When my own flesh and blood held me back, I sacrificed that too replaced it like a spare part. Victory costs. Every time you pay a little more. I saw a glimpse of what's coming. And there was nothing left of me to stop it. fails, what do we do then? What do I do? Alright, so that was it for the intro. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I always do. Every time I watch it, it's it's even better, seriously. It's probably one of the best intros, in my opinion, that has been made up to today. So, as for Crisis 3, um, Crisis 3 is, as the first three parts that were released, a first-person shooter video game developed by Crytek, published by EA, and is the third part of the trilogy released up to now. Um, it's the third part, um, as in the storyline, um, and actually the fourth part released, um, because there was Crisis Warhead, which depicts, um, the, the first part, um, from Psycho's view on the other side of the islands. Um, Crisis can, features, um, as all the parts before, a linear storyline, and places you in the jungle as Prophet, um, switching from the main character, Alcatraz, from Crisis 2, um, back to Prophet, who was the main character in Crisis 1. Um, the main story is defending the Earth from the Seven, Seth invasion and uh, the rebellion against the Cell, who have pretty much, who are um, pretty much dominating um, over the world. 
um, in the time in which you're placed. Um, the, the fight against the Seth doesn't come um, until... The main fight against the Seth doesn't come until later in the game. Um, and the, the final part in which you have to fight the Alpha Seth to prevent the destruction of Earth. So, the gameplay was kept from the first part, from the first two parts. Um, the style is pretty much the same. Um, still allows a great load of customization. Um, not, um, not only as far as the weapons go, but also as far as the, the whole powers go. Um, Crytek has added some additional features to the game, some more modifications that can be made to the weapons and to the powers. Um, making it pretty much even more awesome than it already was. Um, in the first parts, um, the first parts we could, we were pretty much, at least I was pretty much amazed by by how how much you can personalize the playstyle and um, how far the weapons can be modified and the powers in the second part. Um, well, Crytek really outdid themselves also in the third parts. There is a great deal of mana um, personalization that you can do. And they have introduced a new weapon to the whole series. Um, they have introduced a bow, which by some opinions at first wasn't um, the first choice that they would pick, but um, it turned out to be a truly awesome addition to the game, especially um, in the jungle and in some other parts. Uh, the bow turned out to be probably my favorite weapon in the whole game. Um, it's because of the personalized playstyle and the graphics that have been that have been included. It's truly among the best first-person shooter games. Um, not just the third part, but pretty much the whole series is among the best, if not one of the best, um, one of the well top five first-person shooter games that have been released up to today. Um, the graphics have been continued. Um, from the first two parts, the, the great graphics, um, Crytek again outdid themselves with, um, with um, all the details and the, and the, the, well, the, how good the game looks pretty, pretty much. Um, it's, it's pretty much awesome and allows a great load of tweaking, but, um, it works on more on newer computers, but um, has really high requirements, even on low settings, but especially on high. But if you have a newer computer, it should pretty much uh, work. So, in my opinion, um, Crisis 3 is a great third part to the series. The game is the gameplay and the game itself is awesome. Um, the story amazes me even up till now every time I play it it's truly amazing it's one of the games that really is worth playing no matter what um, it's a great third part to the series um, not sure if it's an ending or not but we'll have to see about that so um, well that's pretty much gonna be it for this review don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel comment on the videos if you like them and I'm gonna see you in the next one